Okay, so today I will be making a propagation stand that you can put on your wall and let it become wall art. Um, I've been seeing this, um, you know, when we have a sponsored ad on Instagram and I've been seeing it, I've sent it to friends and stuff like that. And I'm like, I could make that myself. And you know, I love plants. I'm a plant mother, a plant mommy. And so I'm just going to make one for myself. And I went to, uh, Joanne's fabric and found me these like vials or water bottles because I couldn't find the glass vials. I'll be inserting the picture so you could see what I'm talking about. But I thought that these would work out the best. Uh, I got these wooden blocks that I will be shellacking. But, you know, you could, or staining, shellacking, that's such a Caribbean word. But I will be staining these. Um, if you want to leave them raw, if you want to paint them a different color, you can. I got my magnets. Um, I have my sawtooth hangers. This you will add on to the back of it so that you can hang it on the wall. I have my Gorilla hot glue sticks that will have a good solid hold as lo along with my glue gun, my hammer, which I need a small hammer, but this is going to do for right now, my old sock, and my wood stain in English in early American. You could use whatever stain you want to, or if you could you could use acrylic paint or whatever it is that you desire. If you want the raw look you can, but I happen to like the early American look and it kind of goes with everything. So you know I tend to buy things that if I don't want it to be in the living room that I could switch it out into the kitchen or I could switch it out into the bathroom or I could switch it out into my room or my hairstyling studio. So, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm just gonna stick my old sock into this, into the early American stain. If you are under the age of 15, please ask your parent for help. Make sure that you have your um, place secured so that you don't mess up your furniture. I'm just using an old piece of fabric that I have and I am just, you know, covering this all through. It's pretty easy, just old sock. So you wanna add on your um, hooks, your hooks to the back of your wooden piece so that you could hang it properly. And it's pretty easy. All you have to do is use your hammer and hammer these small nails into it, one, two, three, and they will be able to be put up on the wall after i didn't get all the sticker off but that's okay ain't nobody gonna see that like okay so now i'm gonna turn them over as you can see the color is like perfect most people will put like a shine thing or like you know that extra coat but i like the rawness of the wood so i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna now add on my um i took the black piece you know the cover of the bottle off i as you can see i tried to see if i could put a hole but i'm not trying to cut myself i don't have the proper equipment to do that right now but i kind of like how this looks it kind of looks a little industrial and it's a propagation station like it doesn't need to be perfect if you're a perfect type of person then you'll need to find the vials the correct vials to put on here but i like this look so far i don't know if i'm gonna put it down here or like this we'll see so here you go i have hot glued with my gorilla glue sticks the magnets on to the back of the bottle make sure that you clean off your bottle with alcohol so you don't have any grease or no problems you know uh gluing these on and um, to line these up, we're just going to use like a pencil to dot it so it could be, I could glue on the other magnets onto the wood so it could be glued on perfectly. And okay, I used my marker to perfectly line them up and now I'm going to glue my other magnets on to the wood piece. So I'm done uh, gluing the magnets onto each piece and just so that I could have extra um, hold, 
I decided to Gorilla Glue the magnets together just so I could have that um, extra firm hold. And this is what they look like so far. Um, this one is kind of not lined up that great, but it will work because it's going to be filled with vines and roots of your propagation of whatever plant you choose. I'm going to use my pathos and that's what I'm going to put in here. And this other one, I really like how these turned out. Again, I am not like restricted to one kind of design ethic or home decor ethic. I like what I like. If it works well together, I'm going to put it together. I'm not into categories, okay? I just want to tell y'all that right now before y'all be in my comments like, but you got a film Bohemian, how does that go? It goes because I want it to go. Okay. I love it. It's a little messy. I'm going to clean it up. And I am going, I'm now going to add my pathos. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what this looks like on the wall. Voila. Oh my goodness. I just love how these came out. So beautiful. Obviously, it's the next day because I wanted you guys to see it in the daylight. I mean, it looks beautiful in the evening as well, but there's just something about plant and plants and daylight. Look at this. Can you imagine a wall like this with different shapes of wood art? Hmm, my mind is going. These are so nice. These came out so great. Wow. And obviously like you could put this in any room. I chose my kitchen because I'm currently getting my kitchen together. But these will look nice in a bathroom, in your bedroom, in your living room, anywhere. Uh, your entryway. Yep. Stay tuned to this channel for more DIYs. This is your girl Tilly, and I'm out.